All right, everyone. So uh, I've just kind of been sitting, thinking, and this came to me a few days ago. And as I hear and see people talking the practice of self-love, I, for myself, just want to practice love. I don't want my love to have to be segregated or put into a time frame that only it can be practiced for me. I don't want that segregation from the same love that I would have for my children, uh, my siblings, um, loved ones, you name it. I just don't, I want to practice love because love is just love. Love is, it's like the air and I want it to be the same as it inside me as it is outside. That yes, I will take a breath and that's for me, but it's the same as it is outside. And that's kind of how I'm starting to view this. Um, my my epiphanies don't mean that my uh, opinion is better than anyone's. I'm not downing anyone for practicing what they're calling self-love. But a lot of times self-love manifests into selfish. And I've seen a lot of people where they're spending more time away from the things and the people that they need to be spending time with um, the, in the name of I need this to get away and a lot of times that's just the hard part the love is that you that you grind out you know what you need to do for your children uh, for your for your betterment for your uh, your progress so again I'm not knocking anyone this is just where I'm at from what I've seen and from what I've experienced um, I don't want it to again for me to be broken down into like I have to practice love for myself once a month. I should be able to walk around and love myself all the time. I don't want to do that where it's, you know, it's a getaway or it's a bath, um, you know, with candles and this and that. If you want self-love, if we're really talking about practicing self-love, then we have to look at what we're actually doing. And by doing, I mean at the, at the truest level, not just you know, walking around saying it or, you know, posting about it or things like that. What are we actually doing? Because self-love would also mean taking, taking note of the things that we're eating, drinking, possibly, you know, what other, other things we're putting into our bodies, what energies we're absorbing from other people. So whether they're sexual partners or whether they're just people that you just don't deal with very well uh, and you're still tolerating it. So you can say like, I'm gonna cut out the haters and you know get the toxins and bad energy out. But if you go and you eat, drink, and smoke or whatever it is, that stuff, those are toxins as well. And when your health isn't balanced, your happiness can't be balanced, then that love is certainly gonna be off kilter as well. So it's just my considered opinion, but like I said, I want my love, the love that I have for me, to be the same that is for my children, the same again for my mother, loved ones, all these people involved. I don't need a getaway. And again, me thinking up here doesn't mean that it's better than someone else's. And I'm sure there will be people who say, no, I need to get away this, this or that. But if you're saying you need to get away to practice the self-love, then you're not loving yourself all the time. And that's kind of where I'm coming from. Love yourself all the time. It's simple that way. It's much easier than trying to put it on a calendar or say, I'm going to do this specifically for me. Because if you went shopping, and say in, in the name of self-love, well, those are material items. So if you get yourself material items, it's not showing yourself real love. These are just my opinions. This is just my philosophy. So um, I would be very curious to know what people think, um, whatever your comments could be in the, uh, in the comment box. You can thumb up, thumb down, tag it, share it, add it. I'm sure there'll be a lot of people that have varying opinions on it, but for me, I just think that love is love. And again, it's like the air. If you breathe it in, it's in you. Okay, so now it, that's like the love. And when you exhale it, then the love goes back out. It's an energy. It's a shared energy amongst everybody that we partake in. It goes through us all. So I'll leave it at that. And hopefully um, this is something for some people to think about. Other people will just, you know, you know, scoff at it. Other people will say you're crazy. Other people will be like, right on. I get it. Um, but I just think that love is just love. Um, it's, it's an entity uh, unto itself. It's a universal energy and it cannot be separated no matter how much we try to. So if you're not actually able to, you know, feel that love, then, then that there's something to that. But self love, um, I don't, I, I just, I can't, I can't vibe with it because I see a lot of people practicing self-love who don't love themselves enough to even let 
other people love them or for them to truly love other people. That's the sadness about it. And so now it's put into this box and a title and it has to me a diminished feel. We don't say I need to practice child love or I need to practice parent love or spouse love. So why self? Because we know that the love that we give out is, is for everybody and that's love. It's the same, practice it within. It's already there. If you can put it out, it's already in. This is just my thoughts, guys. Um, I'll leave it at that. And hopefully everybody is in good health and spirits. Peace, love, unity, solidarity.